What, what we achieved in this press release was really, we, we've demonstrated that we keep improving the purity of the silicone material that we're producing, and that is really important. The significance of this milestone is really twofold. One of them is we are definitely on our way of demonstrating that QRR technology will be able to make four hand silicone in one step that is a reachable and achievable target. And the second one is we've been able to demonstrate reproductibility of the technology. And by that, what I mean is it wasn't a one hit wonder that we got 3N last time. We've been able to get 3N and we've been able to continue to, to, to remove impurities in doing so. And that's very, very key because each PPB of impurities you remove, you make your material purer, you increase its value and you increase its, its, its uh, attractability. The QRR, the, the philosophy why we developed this QRR is to see if we can produce a higher purity material where we can where we can go and work with higher value end products, which is where the we have a, we have a unique advantage over the industry where they have big static plants that produce high number of quality. So they're focused more on high volume uh, material, and we're more, more focused on very precise, high purity material at the right scalability. And this plays very well into our end product menu at buyers because they're going to be looking for a consistent feedstock for what they're doing. And that's something we'll be able to do because we're, we're, we're smaller and more, and more focused. So the fact that we can continue to, to, to remove impurities and we demonstrate that we've been doing this, demonstrate our technology and our vision where we started to develop the QRR is moving forward. This results fits very well the HPQ silicone initiative, um, especially now that the silicone is now a strategic mineral in the U.S. The, the idea of the, the QR development, why we went down this route, is we wanted a new process, a new way of making silicone that would not only be cheaper, but be greener, more efficient, being able to do a product that's gonna be more in demand. And we truly see that the, the future trends in the silicone industries are really looking for higher purity material. But since before it was impossible to do it in one step, it would require multiple steps, the cost associated with it would keep going up. You have to realize that a two-end silicone material, uh, the difference between a one-end silicone material and a two-end silicone material might not seem big, but the price the, the price variation can, can range from about uh, 30 to 60%. So as we keep going higher, we will have a higher value material that we'll be able to offer to the market. The, the silicone market is very, very interesting. It's going to be going through a transition over the, over the years. Big picture situation is going on. There's a lot of talk about reshoring. A lot of the production of silicone had moved to, 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 to Asia, to China. There's a lot of talk about reshoring this. But as I've said many times, you don't want to reshore with the old technology you didn't like before. You need a new process that meets all the, all the demand. And also, at the same time, the trends of the markets are going for higher purity material. You need 2N plus to make, um, to make, to make, to use as feedstock to make silicone and polysilicone. You need 3N to make materials for batteries. You need 4N to make material for silicon nitrate which these are all products of the future. So HPQ with its technology and its incredible flexibility is that our ability to go higher up the purity, the purity chain is very unique and give us a great competitive advantage. But what that also means is if we were going to go into the, the, the bigger traditional 3.8 million ton worth about $10 billion market for traditional silicone, uh, we can do it at an even greater advantage because we can use our technology to use even cheaper feedstock. HPQ basically has three key initiatives. The silicone initiative, the fume silica, and the hydrogen one. With regard to the silicone initiative, we are well on our way to demonstrate that we will have a commercially viable technology to present to the market. And we have multiple markets to attack to. Uh, and that's really what we're pushing and we're very excited with those results. And the reproductibility of our results has been, is the key to it.